normally shows up first at the front because that's where some most of the different work and process will start to do it quickly. And uh, everybody was scratching our heads in the industry wondering what's going on with the Merlin and Bonds. We finally figured out what it was. And Bill says we made adjustments in the mix design so we're not using the same materials as we, we're not using the same cements and the same uh, uh, we supplement with other components so we don't get that reaction happening. So you're going to
and that's probably the newer streets you see, like the water will build up because of that cover is restricted and only lets X amount of water down. And there's there's a reason for that, because like I said, if the pipe fills up, it will it will all everybody's basement will have water. So it's it will go down much better than what it does now, like Kevin said, but there is still a, the restricted cover still on. Well as you drive up through the area, there's just so much um, snow in there. I don't know if you've been down there, but the homeowners that live there are constantly out there um, cleaning out those drains because that water is going up onto their property and these people cannot drive through there. So like I mean I think since we're redoing the road we right. should and, and naturally a lot of water that probably shouldn't be going there is going there. So once once the road gets crowned and the water that is going there right now will will naturally go to another location somewhere too. So you won't have the volume that is going to that one area of the road. But another another problem with those six hole restricted covers is they tend to clog the views a lot more than a, a cover that has thirty holes in them. And I've lived in a number of homes where in the fall the leaves will fall in a big flood because it's the holes will just cover up with the leaves. Also, those two catch basins that flood are immediately upstream of that section of sewer that gets flooded full of trees. That's why they're replacing them. Pipe it in the other collapse and it floods thousands of trees. Therefore, the water can't drain out. So they take care of those so they're they're you know, hope, hope. So hopefully it won't get done. That will alleviate the entire flooding situation. Or was it naturally can happen because only so much can go down those sewers at one time, but on the newer streets we see, you know, it, it typically doesn't get that high and yeah. go that far. So. Well, Maplefield has been down here and it's flooded up to where they Well, when, no, we, when we had the big storms, yeah. it, like I said, it can happen when you have a lot of water at one time and the holes get plugged with leaves or debris. Um, it, it can still happen here. But like I said, if it, we had the big covers and all that water went down at one time, then we could have some real major issues with the, with the houses. So we spend, you know, I've, I've done it myself in crazy rain, you know, we see the floods going through and stuff keeps that metal, metal rod in the trunk of your car and <laughs> figure out those trees. Um, and the DPW goes around and does it. It's just, uh, like I said, it's part of the restricted cover you have in the bottom. <coughs> They were they were sized to handle domestic flows from the home. Plus some of the storms too, but they were never sized to have the full capacity of what is required for a storm. And as Scott said, we've had it occasionally in some other communities where people literally went out and changed the covers on the community without anybody knowing. And the next thing they had a big rainstorm and all the people on the street, their basement flooded. And they wondered why would their basement flood? Well, as Scott said, you'd rather have the water pond in on the street for a little while, blow in the rain or after the rain, than have it pond in your basement with all the other stuff that goes with it. Okay. Are you going to go over the things on the list or should we ask questions? No, we're, we're, we're going to go over the things on the list. Okay. We're heading we're down that way. Come on. So the next on the list is uh, tree removal. So there are um, five or six trees that are scheduled for removal that are struggling oh, on, their way, ditch, on their way <laughs> dead and um, or in the way of the road. So we um, we have, like I said, five addresses for sure right now. There's possibly a sixth one that the tree is struggling with the best right now. Will Pleasant Ridge replace them? Or? We will replace them mm -hmm. um, as long as the, a tree can be planted on that berm, depending on the size of the one that was there before, but we will replace them, yes. So the one of them is the big one by 143 um, that's grown into the road and destroyed some trees over the last few years coming down. So that's the real major tree one, I think, out of all of them. The rest of them are all yeah. Yeah. 170. 170, yeah. With 117, 133, 130. 
Once, once the street <coughs> torn out, there's no no gravel on it for us, right? There's no. They they'll keep it as, as long as we can keep it open on the gravel road. They're going to do a rolling closure, and like right by Hamish Hill for the underground work. Or the sewer division. Right. So as they're doing the sewer division repair, it'll just they'll have like certain sections of the street like closed off just for like a day, like just in front of that house where they're doing some sewer work. Mm-hmm. So you'll have access coming around from the other way, but once we set forms and they're ready to pay, we'll say, we can try to give you about 48 hours notice on that or more to say, have your cars out of your driveway <coughs> and off the street because they're going to start paving at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow or 50 days. Is there anybody yeah. else that has any bullets or motor homes or anything that you guys associate that you guys know?
turn your front zones off there for your front burn area because it, once you get started, you don't want to waste all the water. You know how much that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burn some burn. <laughs> oh yeah. So if you have any, if you have anything out in that front area, the front burn area, paper stones around your tree, uh, flowers.
you got a uh, hallway going into that driveway um, between the sidewalk and the street that supports the wire for the street lights. The utility pole? The utility pole. Mm -hmm. Is that going to come out of there? Between the, the sidewalk and the street, so it's the burn would be shown. It's their right of way. Okay. They still have that right of way. Out. So they, unless it's in a very, very awkward place and we can't work around it, um, they are not moving. They're at the removal pole of any kind. It's a lot, a lot of work. And if they, if we request it, we will start it. So typically, it's not going to happen. So it'd be a warning. mentioned in some of your correspondence the insurance mm -hmm. and I have it and I've dealt with those people and they're so they're good. Yeah, they are very good. I would I would recommend that and we do too. Do that. So if you can I guess in a warm letter we talk about that sewer insurance. So it's a good program. Yeah. Uh again timeline we they talked a little bit you said you know they're looking to pave all the case that first <coughs> section and the second section was time of the morning you said? Hold, hold on just one second. There's a question back there. Go ahead. Uh, are you going to put the no parking signs back in for the day time of the morning? Or just the uh, the, the, the signs that come out, they don't necessarily go back in the same spot. We actually will probably try to put less. I'm not sure how many are on the street. Um, signs become unsightly and they create problems in, in general. Um, but we will put put them back. It might not be as many and they'll be on the new pole typically. Um, so they will be going back but not necessarily in the same spot. Now what's the work day time? Start and end. Seven to seven. Seven to seven. 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 Hopefully not full seven. seven. Right. Yeah. right. There's, there are a couple of cases where it can go later than that on when they have to saw cut the street after it's poured. Certain amount of time to be able to do that because there's times it can freeze and expand. So there's sometimes it might go a little bit later than that to get that saw cutting down. There's plows and other stuff be, but if we don't do it, it, the road will break apart. So um, we let you know and then along with the paving typically we either do it in there or do it there. Most of the time it's done right after they pave and we get on it once it's dry. So the paved day is a long day.
Yeah, we could leave. Yeah, we're done. Right. You got it. You got to get it. You would not be happy to take over this job. And typically, contractors, most contractors today are are a lot. They they're very well. They have they're booked. They have a lot of work going on. They're booked, and it's it's hard for us to get these guys scheduled to operate as efficient as we can. Because they're they got so much work out there. Sometimes the guys like P and L that are maybe doing the sub work for them have so much work lined up that they can't afford to take the time to do like a five. They're not, that's not what they normally do is private job or something like that. So don't be surprised if they say that they may not be able to do that. But you can always you can always ask. Well, it's just one panel or, or two panels. You know, we don't really get excited about that. But if you want to go eighty <laughs> feet back to your garage. Sorry, you can
feel, you know, don't feel safe for whatever reason if you're alone, call the police. They will come and get an escort um, as long as they're not on another call. And um, if you need help doing anything, I carry groceries to people for them. Done anything to help whatever we do, whatever we can to make it painless on you. So if you have an issue, call us. We're around. We can get it. We can help you out. And just do that. So over here first. Probably one day and then come back the next day and pour pour the sidewalk, depending on how much we actually need it done in that amount of time. Might be a few days. So we'll be able to use the road by that time. Yeah, if the side the sidewalk's poor, I'll be able to walk on the road. I mean, you already walked on the sidewalk. No, you will not be able to get in your driveway no. for after they do the road and your driveways are tore out and poor, and those have to be here five to seven days at that point. So if you're out of your driveway. small portion you'll just have to park in the street or park somewhere a little bit farther away from your house if you happen to be home at that time on time. I won't be able to say send out a notice every day saying hey we're gonna be in front of 118 and 119 today. They're just gonna keep moving and doing underground work and you'll see it'll be a small section that's closed but you'll have to you'll have to maneuver around it and, and, and go from there. It works better that way than closing down the whole street.
same time it'll be coming through in certain colors. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. They'll come in before before Joe's group comes in. The tree people will come through the doors. Yeah, you're gonna see that next week. We're we're planning on trying to get all of them done. But like I said, they're scheduled. The tree people with these storms have had a lot of emergency work to go through. And what happens is all these tree guys get plucked by DCE and they scratch that quick money and get to work and get all that work done. So their schedules have been kind of thrown out of whack with that. So we're, we hope to have them all do it all at once. But it's, it, it might not be the case until we get to that. Any other questions? Talk to your neighbors. We're gonna we recorded the video uh, meeting tonight. We're gonna put it up on uh, online, so you'll be able to see that, or they can come and um, and view it. And uh, we will uh, start on the 14th. You'll start to see some activity. Like I said, next week with three people, and, and we'll see you in town on the 14th. And Thank you. Let's know. We'll be mobilizing the board members uh, on Saturday as well. Good. I'll okay. talk to you.